Hey guys, Fred here, AF Method Engineering. We are going to do a question on converting decimal numbers to binary. Let's go ahead and let's get started. What does the question ask us? It's, it says uh, express 89.359375 as a binary fraction. So we are going to take this number, which is a decimal number, and we're going to express it in essentially computer language in a series of ones and zeros. And how do we do that? Well, the binary system is a, it's a base two system, okay? So it deals with uh, just numbers in base two form, okay? So how we're going to, I'm not gonna get too much into the theory. Uh, I'll just show you how to do this because that's probably what you're looking for in a course like this. You wanna know, know how to do it. So let's go ahead and start. It's super simple, okay, is you're going to start with the whole number first, okay? So start with the number to the left of the decimal. In this case, it's 89. And we are going to divide that number by two. Okay, so I'm just gonna start over here. All right, so we're going to start with two, and we're going to just, just show it like this. We're gonna divide uh, 89 by two. Okay, so 89 divided by two is going to be, and so as we can see, two is not going to divide into 89 evenly, okay? There's gonna be a remainder. So it's going to divide into 89 44 times evenly, and there's gonna be a remainder left over. So, we are going to go ahead and we're going to put the remainder over here. All right, so just on the right side, we're going to line up the remainder. The, the remainder is one. And we are going to write the number of times it divided wholly into that number right below. And we're going to continue. We're just going to keep doing that. We're going to divide by two into 44, all right, until we get to the end of the process. All right, so let's just, and we're just going to keep writing the remainder on the right. If the remainder is one, okay, you only have two remainders. It's either going to be one or zero when you're dividing by two, right? So if it's one, you're going to write one over here. And if it's zero, if it divides evenly in this case, okay, you're going to write zero on the right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to write zero there. And what is uh, 44 divided by two? That's going to be 22, right? All right, and we're just going to divide by two again. So as we can see, once again, it divides evenly into 22. So we're just going to write zero for the remainder and we're going to write 11 here. Divide again. We will have a remainder this time. It divides into 11 five times and with a remainder of one. Perfect, let's go ahead and divide again. Well, that looks like it divides in twice with a remainder again of one. And once again, well, we have uh, two divided by two, okay? So that is going to be divided in evenly. So two divided by two, that's going to be one, okay, with zero remainder. Let's divide two into that again. And when we get to the point where we two no longer divides into one, okay, that's going to be a remainder of one, right? And then finally we have zero at the bottom there, okay? Just because this does not divide. So and I just wanted to explain to you, so if you want to do this in your calculator and you're dividing, for example, the first one, 89 divided by two, you get 44.5, okay? That seems a little bit confusing. Just take the, uh, if you can see that, take the 44, put that in to the fraction there, okay? And then the 0.5 uh, designates a, a one remainder there, okay? So that 0.5 stands for a remainder of one. Okay? Just, uh, just for clarification. So now uh, what do we do? Well, this portion here, of, of the remainders is our binary number. In fact, that's what we found. We found our binary number. Okay, and it's it's just the left side actually of the of the whole number. So we've just gone ahead and we found this part of the fry, the, the the number, the decimal number. So we're going to express that from the bottom up. All right. So we're going to say that 89 okay is equal to 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 in binary, okay? Binary. Okay, so we've, uh, we've solved the first half of the question. We've solved for 89 as a binary number. We have that. Now we need to do the decimal, right? We have to do the right side of the, the decimal number that we're given. And that's a little bit different of a process, but it's actually fairly straightforward. So let's go to the bottom here and I'll just draw a line so we can. So we have our decimal of 0 0.359375, right? So what, how do we do what, How do we do this? How do we start? How do we convert this to a binary number? Simple, we just multiply this number by two. So that's how we're going to start. We're going to say we're two times 0 0.359375, okay? And that is equal to 0 0.71875, okay? So we're going to reserve this number here. I'm just gonna do that in a different color for you so you can see. 
So now what do we do? Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this 0.71875 number and we're going to move it down here. Okay, we're also going to multiply that by 2. Okay, and we're going to see what we get. What do we get from that? Well, we get 1.4375. Okay, so we're going to reserve the number that we got, the whole number that we got from the result. Okay, and then we're going to take just the decimal portion. Okay, so for this part, you saw that this was zero. Okay, so we took the whole thing. Now that we have a one in our result of two times 0 0.71875, we're going to ignore this one. We're just gonna take the decimal portion and move it down. Okay, so let me just draw an arrow there. So we have 0 0.4375. Okay, that's times two. Okay, that is equal to, and we have 0 0.875 now. We're gonna reserve that number there. We're gonna go ahead and draw this one, take that down, that's uh, 0 0.875, so we'll take the whole thing. I'm gonna multiply by two there. We are going to get 1.75. Right, reserve the one, take the 0.75, okay, move it down here. Multiply by two, and we're just gonna keep, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna repeat this process okay, until we get one. And as you can see, the number is getting closer and closer to one. We have 1.5, okay, and reserve the one, just take the 0 0.5 down here. We're gonna multiply by two, and as you can see, we are going to end up with one. So you'll always end up with a one here. That's kind of the uh, moral of the story here, I guess. So, well, what, is that, uh, what does that equate to? That equates to a decimal value of, so we'll say that 0.359375 is equal to, we're going to start from the top here, decimal, we're gonna put a decimal, we're gonna just write those numbers as they, uh, as they are there. So is equal to 0 0.010111 in binary. Perfect, so what's our final answer here? Well, all we need to do is we need to just combine the whole number binary and the decimal binary together at the bottom, and that is equal to, we can say that 89.359375 is equal to 1010001.0101111. And that is it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that helps you kind of understand how to convert decimals to binary. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe.